all about the Bengal famine. The idea that Churchill caused the Bengal famine is absolute cobbledgework. In fact, without Churchill, the death toll would have probably been even higher. He did what he, was, what he could to help in the, within the pressure of war. The fact is, Churchill was very concerned about what was going on in the ben Bengal, and uh, he actually wrote a letter begging the Americans for more ships so he could send food to Bengal. And the Americans um, <laughs> couldn't help because, you know, ships were needed for World War. There was a World War going on then. And yes, what happened in Bengal was terrible. But the main cause for the Bengal famine was a disease called brown spot disease, which attacks rice. This has been proven by an Indian expert in rice farming and rice growing, who travelled all over the world teaching people how to farm and grow rice and he was one of the top people in the world in rice farming and uh, again his name is mentioned in the article that I've written in, in El Cura and you'll find him uh, his name down there and uh, what he has to say about the Bengal famine. Churchill was no way to blame for the Bengal famine. He was not going to deliberately starve the death millions of Indians when he needed India's help in fighting the Germans and the Japanese. India's contribution in the Second World War cannot be overlooked. It was indeed masses. Over a million Indians volunteered to fight in World War II. There was no way on earth Winston Churchill was going to jeopardise India's help by deliberately starving millions of their own people. This is absolute rubbish. Now, this is a letter that um, Churchill wrote. I'm seriously concerned about the food situation in India. Last year, we had a grievous famine in Bengal, though, which at least 700,000 people died. This year, there is a good crop of rice, but we are faced with an acute shortage of wheat ag aggravated by the by unprecedented storms. By cutting down military shipments and other means, I have been able to arrange for 350,000 tonnes of wheat to be shipped to India from Australia during the first nine months of 1944. This is a shortage haul. I cannot see how we can do more. And this is the letter that he wrote to Jerusalem, begging for more ships. I have had much hesitation in asking you to add to the great assistance you were giving us with shipping, but a satisfactory situation in India is of such vital importance to the success of our joint plans against the Japanese that I am impelled to ask you to consider a special allegation of ships to carry wheat to India from Australia. We have the wheat in Australia, but we lack the ships. I have resisted for some time the Viceroy's request that I should ask you for help, but I am no longer justified in asking for your help. Now, that is the, a letter that Winston Churchill wrote. <clears throat> Winston Churchill was a racist. I am not denying he wasn't. There can be no doubt about that. But <laughs> he was not a genocidal man. He did make some racist remarks. I make them racist. I mean, we all might say things we don't mean. And uh, yes, Ch Ch Churchill made some, said some very bad things. But it doesn't mean that he that 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 no way proves that Churchill caused the famine. And he didn't. <laughs>